first Samuel chapter two. First Samuel uh, chapter two. Tim, you yeah. will start Psalm two next week. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do one Psalm next week. Once, once we get through, once we get through um, uh, Hannah's Hannah's prayer, I'll do a Psalm. Now, Hannah's prayer is very similar to the Psalms. It's actually, it's Hebrew poetry, so it's almost the same. So as we work through Hannah's prayer, you'll really see the, you'll see the, the parallel. But, but after Hannah's prayer, I will do a psalm. That is correct, yeah. Okay. I, I'm actually thinking about doing David's, uh, David's prayer of confession in, in Isaiah, uh, Psalm 51. I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. So good question. But again, don't feel pressured. This will be at least three or four weeks. Just take your time. Um, you can email me questions, or if, if you want to schedule a meeting with me, we can prepare a short time to work through your specific something. So please don't feel pressured. This is not a rush. I, I want us to just, um, like a slow-cooked adobo. It's just simmering. <laughs> In the U.S., we would say uh, uh, meatballs, but here it's adobo. Except you've never simmered anything. He doesn't cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Crock pot? Yeah, co crock pot. We would use a crock pot. Yep. <laughs> you would use a crock pot. We, we, <laughs> Bethany would. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go to, let's go to, to Hannah's prayers. Uh, 1 Samuel 2, verses 1 to 10. Okay. And just like the other, the other prayers, and I, as we work through here, I want you to be seeing the, I want you to be seeing the procedure, okay? So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to read it, and then we're, we're going to, to make some observations and ask some questions before we work through the, 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 the prayer, okay? We're, we're looking at how this prayer is similar to the Lord's Prayer, to the prayer we just did, the, the prayer for boldness, and how it's dissimilar, how it's different, and also observations and also questions, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and read it. And you can just follow along. Let me just get back there on the page. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth derides my enemies, because I rejoice in your salvation. There is none holy like the Lord, for there is none besides you. There is no rock like our God. Talk no more so very proudly. Let not arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the might are broken. The feeble bind on, on strength. Those who were full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who were hungry have ceased to hunger. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many ch children is forlorn. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to Sheol, or he brings down to death and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy up from the hash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness. For not by might shall a man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Against them he will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. That's a different prayer. That's a different prayer than what we've seen so far. Let's, uh, let's ask... Questions? Um, let's make questions or observations. I'm going to write them down so we have a, a history. Any any comment or observation or question? Bethany, please participate. Um, Tim, what's spiritually the the meaning of horn, particularly? It's often mentioned in the Bible. Yes. Horn in my head, something like that. Great question. We're going to write it down. Observation. And then we also have 
questions. Huh? It's mentioned at least twice. Okay, so the and this is a great question. That's a great question. So the question is, what is oh, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not thinking here. This is not an observation. This is a question. What is the meaning What is the meaning and can we say significance of the word form Great question. Great question. I like it. Another observation. I wanted to investigate this idea of rock. To me, rock is, I, I really, uh, my question is, I want to investigate the significance of the word, the concept rock. And this would be, this would be Old and New Testament. What else do we have? What other? This is a prayer. What was what was what was absent in this prayer? What was absent? Request. Yes, there is no request made. Did you see that? Observation. No petition. was offered. I am the first to say I'm guilty. I have, I cannot remember a time when I prayed that I did not offer, I, I, I did not, I shouldn't say it. There was one, there was once or twice where last year, there was uh, maybe three times, there was three times, very few though, where I just, I did not, ask a petition. I'm thinking in my mind, there's like maybe three or four times. So um, we typically ask petitions, but here there's no petition. Any other observation? Uh, Tim, yes. is it okay then to deride your, to deride your enemies? <laughs> it says here. My mouth derides my enemy. Huh? What's that? Uh, derides the enemies. Yeah, deride. Uh, right. Yeah. So let's let's uh. So this is a. Uh, let's ask the let's ask the applicational question. Is it okay to deride our enemies? What are some other questions? Observations. I'm going to make an observation. I'm going to make an observation. Going with the whole discussion that Ray has started us with, with uh, sovereignty, it seems that God is in control here, too. <laughs> Woo! Watch, watch, look at down here. Um, uh, uh, the Lord kills and brings to light. He brings down the Sheol and rises up. Raises up. He makes poor, he makes rich. He brings low, he exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy. So it's... He <laughs> <laughs> seems to be in control again. <laughs> let, me, let, me, uh, let me put that down. It contrasts his power to, to, the, to the weak... Okay, so Bethany has an observation. Let me just put this here. Uh, uh, 
God's sovereign control and activity is highlighted. Including this killing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Bethany, what were you saying? It seems like there's a contrast between his sovereignty, his might, and the weakness of his enemies. Okay, so like the so, bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble bind on sin. I don't know. I just, okay. Okay, yeah, so there's a, a comparison there. Uh, there is a contrast. Yeah, well, his adversary is broken to pieces. Where does that say that? Yeah, yeah. A, con a contrast between his, his strength and the weakness of his enemies. Okay. What what are some other observations here? Uh the Lord is a uh, righteous judge. Yes. That's a good one. Of what? Of what? A righteous judge. Uh, in uh, righteous judge for, let's say, humanity. Yeah. So, so can I can I make it? The, these two really go hand in hand. These two go hand in hand. Any other any other comments? Any other? There's a there's a messianic reference here. Does everyone see the messianic reference? The, the Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exhort, exalt the horn of his Messiah, anointed. Whenever you see anointed, see Messiah. Messiah is just the, the transliteration of the Greek, with the Greek word messias, which is the transliteration of the Hebrew word, I think, messiah, and which means anointed. So we have a reference here to we have a reference here to the Messiah at the, at the conclusion. Which if you think about it, this is still, this is still in, the, uh, this is still in the, the judge's time, right? There's no king yet. Although we are, we will, the, the king is coming, right? Even in verse 1, theme, it's also at the end of verse 1. Because I rejoice in your salvation. This talks about the Messiah. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. So let's, 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 yes, great. So let's, let's put, so there's um, the, the Messiah is mentioned. And alluded to. Now I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. This is in this is in uh, anointed one. This is also in what 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 Kuya Henry said in the in the uh, salvation, and also in the the reference to rock. Okay. So, uh, just think about that for a moment. 
Think about that, okay? What time is that? It's already nine o'clock. So let's, let's actually, I think we have, a, we, we've set the table here for us to, uh, for us to just unpack the, uh, the, 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 the song, I mean, the, the, the prayer next week. And um, um, if you can start on your, on your, let me just go ahead. I'm going to do the first, I'm going to do the first, the first sentence just so that you can see. So, so imagine this was in the Psalms. What I, what I'm looking for is when you prepare your Psalm like this, you should, you should first read it and then you should have some observations like this and you should have some questions. Okay. And then all I'm looking for you to do is just, it's not complicated like in the New Testament. You're just going to highlight the action words. So, so you're, you're going to, okay, what, what are the actions? There's two here. This is uh, an action. And this is a statement. And then it's connected by this and, and then the actor is Hannah. Okay, and then this is just going to be if I'm going to if I'm going to make a decision what what kind of sentence is this. This is just going to be like a like a statement a statement. Or, or you could put prayer you could put you could put prayer here I'm, I'm, I'm very I'm very I might actually add that as a category it's a prayer because it says she prays so that's different than a statement so you could put prayer there. And then you're just going to go down line by line and, and just do the same thing, okay? It's not, it's not difficult. But what I want you to do is as you work, as you work through here, you're going, to see, you're going to see similar topics that are bunched together, and then they're going to come to a conclusion, and then... there'd be like a new topic you'll see as you work through this you're going to see it and so your outline is just going to follow that and that's how you and that's how you would prepare an outline to preach or to pray or wh whatever you would do okay the, the one other thing i do want to say is that the, i just followed the, the 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 structure the structure in the esv and, and a lot of bibles are like this now what what this is is this is referred to as a uh, parallel p-a-r-a-l-l-e-o Okay, parallel. Parallelism. Okay, and so what that means is that is that this is a statement typically or some type of action. And then this is like a, a, a restatement in a slightly different way. Okay? So maybe it's it's some type of it's it's typically a uh, uh, complementary. Okay? So it could be, it, it's saying the same thing differently. It could, it could be in opposing categories. So for example, here, it's almost saying the same thing. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. So it's saying almost the same thing, slightly different. And we're going to explore this word horn. Um, uh, here, my mouth derides my enemies. Why? It gives a cause. Because I rejoice in your salvation. Verse 2, almost the same thing. There is none holy like the Lord, for there is none beside the Lord. So, so you're almost looking at, so really, if you're, if you're going to be preparing an outline, these two are really connected almost as one point because it's expanding upon the same thing, okay? Is everyone tracking, tracking with me there? So this would be like one point here, or one point, or, or an eight, whatever it is, okay? So, and that's how Hebrew poetry works. That's how Hebrew poetry works. And, and there's other things. So, but um, let, let's go ahead and let, let's, 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 um, um, I'll, does anyone want to say anything? Feel free to, to share. I know it's late. Does someone want to try to pray or do you just want me to close in prayer? If someone would like to try to pray Acts for it, and you can use other, another passage or you can use just, just the similar content. Does that, someone want to try? Okay, I, 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 I volunteer, Kuya Henry. <laughs> I'll, I'll pray. I'll, 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 I'll close in prayer. Okay, I can. I can. Good, good, good. Henry, Kuya Henry, go ahead. 
I'll pray for Hannah's prayer, verse 1. Go ahead. Verse 1. Uh, until exalt the word. Uh, okay, verse 1. Okay, let's pray. Father God, we thank you uh, for this uh, an hour and a half just to ponder on your word, just to know how great and wonderful you are. Our heart exalts and glorify you more than words can say. Father, we, we have seen your love in us by sending your son Jesus Christ for us. And we rejoice in that because you have given us a way to be with you through, through your son Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for that grace of salvation that you have opened to us. And Father, there are people who still don't know you or even they have a hard-headed mind that they don't want to accept your son. But give us the strength, Father. May your Holy Spirit be in us. Put, us the, put power in ourselves so that we can continue to deliver the good news of your son to them. Father, if ever, if ever we have uh, a situation where your son is being put down in our midst, give us the strength to say bluntly to the people that they should think twice because this might be their last chance before Jesus come. Father, we thank you that you have opened our heart to see you. It is a privilege to exalt your name more than words that we can say. Thank you, Father, for this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I could not have done it better myself. Excellent. That's, that's just like Amen. that. Amen. Great. Amen. That's great. Amen. Amen. Ray has to pray next time. Call me. Ray, you're next time. We got you next time. Your number. <laughs> okay with me. So good we, night. God bless you and good night. Good team, night. team, by the way, um, when will you be available? I